Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on Big Tech Episode 1, FISA Surveillance Publicly Available Methods, Part 1. Let's go over DNI FISA Raw SIGINT Available Procedures, which is in reference to Q number 3487. This is the Raw SIGINT Guidelines as approved. Um, this document is unclassified. It's in relation to Five Eyes, and it was cleared for release by the ODNI. And this is procedures for the availability or dissemination of raw signals intelligence information by the NSA under Section 2.3 of Executive Order 12333, Raw SIGINT Availability Procedures. Okay, the introduction, section 2.3 of Executive Order 12333, allows an intelligence community, which is IC element, to disseminate information to other appropriate IC elements, quote, for purposes of allowing the recipient element to determine whether the information is relevant to its responsibilities and can be retained by it, close quote. For the dissemination of the information derived from signals intelligence, section 2.3 requires that such information only be disseminated or made available in accordance with procedures established by the Director of National Intelligence, or the DNI in coordination with the Secretary of Defense and approved by the Attorney General. The DNI is establishing these procedures to implement this provision of Section 2.3 and to govern the availability of unvaluated or unminimized SIGINT and associated data to IC elements by the NSA or Central Security Service. Purpose and Scope The purpose of these procedures is to enable IC elements to conduct their national security missions more effectively by providing them with access to raw SIGINT from NSA as authorized by Section 2.3 of Executive Order 12333 in a manner that complies with the Fourth Amendment and protects the privacy of U.S. persons. Exclusions. These procedures do not apply to NSA's signet activities, which are activities conducted by the NSA under its authorities and SIGINT activities conducted by another element of the IC pursuant to a delegation of SIGINT authority. Number two, FISA information information that the NSA requires under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, as amended. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court Orders, authorizations from the Attorney General, and related minimization procedures govern the acquisition, retention, and dissemination of such, such information. Questions about access to such information should be referred to the NSD of the Department of Justice and the NSA's Office of General Counsel. Continuing with the exclusions, number three, finished reporting based on SIGINT. The receipt and further processing by an IC element of finished reporting from NSA based on SIGINT. Number four, other activities. Disseminations of raw SIGINT or data provided by NSA pursuant to a joint program or arrangement lawfully conducted under applicable procedures approved by the Attorney General, including activities conducted pursuant to National Security Council Intelligence Directives, number five, and number six, or successor documents and disseminations under any presidentially authorized covert action program where NSA has been named as a supporting agency.
And number five, non-U.S. persons. SIGINT information that is exclusively about non-U.S. persons that is evaluated and disseminated under other authorities, except where otherwise stated. SIGINT information about non-U.S. persons is subject to Presidential Policy Directives 28 and implementing procedures and any successor documents. No authorization to collect information. These procedures do not authorize NSA or any other intelligence community element to collect signal intelligence or SIGINT or other information. Request for raw SIGINT. Access request from an intelligence community element. NSA may provide raw SIGINT to an IC element only if the head of the IC element or a high-level designee makes a written request describing the raw signal intelligence, sought and stating whether the element wishes to conduct communications metadata analysis. A request will address the following. One, use of information. Two, value of information. Three, other sources of information. Four, access requirements. Five, processing and dissemination. Six, protection of information. Seven, attorney general procedures. Eight, reporting. Nine, compliance and oversight. 10, PPP, oh, I'm sorry, PPD 28 which is the Presidential Policy Directives, and 11, Consultation. You can read this document for yourself. I will try to leave that in the description box under the dni.gov. He's still under request of SIGINT is also notification of SIGINT information of interest. In the course of its operations, NSA may identify raw SIGINT of potential interest to an intelligence community element or IC element. NSA may, on its own initiative, notify the IC element of the existence of such information. The IC element must also follow the procedures to request that the information be made available also is evaluation of request. A high-level NSA official designated by the DIR NSA or Director of NSA will review requests for raw SIGINT covered by these procedures. NSA will document its approval decisions in writing and include a statement explaining how the request fully complies. If the request complies with the requirements of the paragraph in deciding whether to approve a request, the reviewing official will also have to consider these things. The reviewing official will have to consider reasonableness, whether approving the request is reasonable in light of all the circumstances known at the time of the evaluation of the request, which includes but is not limited to a, the information provided in the paragraph by the requesting IC element, the likelihood that NSA has raw SIGINT responsive to the request that it's able to make available, or the importance of the information to the IC element as explained in the request, and the ability of the IC element to process and, if appropriate, further disseminate the information as compared to the ability of the NSA or other IC elements already possessing the information, or the likelihood that sensitive U.S. person information will be found in the information and, if known, the amount of such information, and the potential for substantial harm, embarrassment, inconvenience, or unfairness to U.S. persons, if disclosed. Also, the time period for which the IC element intends to retain the information and the safeguards that will be applied to the information. 
Nothing in the paragraph should be construed to require NSA to review or evaluate the raw SIGINT that has been requested by the IC element when assessing the reasonableness of the request. Approved Request Number one, a memorandum of agreement or MOA. Before NSA makes raw SIGINT available to a requesting intelligence community element, the element and NSA must execute an MOA governing the availability, retention, and use of the information. The MOA will describe the element's oversight and compliance procedures to address the requirements of Section 7. Any additional training, guidance, or other assistance to be provided by NSA and measures to protect SIGINT sources and methods from unauthorized disclosure. The MOA requires the approval of appropriate high-level officials at the requesting element NSA and the ODNI in coordination with the Department of Defense based on a finding that the requesting IC element has satisfied the requirements of these procedures. The term of the MOA or any renewal of it will not exceed three years. Access Request and Approval Documentation Each specific request for access to raw SIGINT that has been approved by NSA will be documented in an, appendant, in an appendix to the MOA and the recipient element. Access Request will be reviewed at least every three years unless a shorter period is otherwise required by the MOA. Any renewal of access to raw SIGINT or expansion of the information that the recipient IC element is seeking will require the recipient element to make a new request for the renewal or for the additional information respectively. And lastly, denied request. NSA will retain or return a denied request to the requesting IC element with an explanation. Reasonable efforts will be made to resolve disagreements between NSA and the requesting IC or intelligence community element in a timely manner. The requesting IC element may appeal an adverse decision to the director of the NSA's designee and then to the director of NSA absent resolution with the director of the NSA's designee. In the event a disagreement between NSA and other DOD IC element cannot be resolved, the issue will be referred to the Secretary of Defense. And in the event resolution still cannot be reached, the issue will be referred to the DNI. For all other IC elements, when resolution cannot be reached, the issue will be referred to the DNI. An official resolving any disagreement will apply the standards so noted in paragraph C. I'm going to stop there for today. We will pick up with the rest of the raw SIGINT guidelines in the next video. This is all still under big tech. And I hope you'll stay tuned.